When it's news about the Doblers that you want, when it's news about the Doblers that you need, there's only one place for you to turn. DNN, the Dobler News Network. And now, DNN News at Christmas. Merry Christmas, Two Dobes fans. I'm Dobette. Our top story this holiday season is, of course, the birth of Heidi Dobler. Dobetown is standing by at McGee Women's Hospital to bring you the story that you'll hear only at DNN. That's right, Dobet, and a more heartwarming way to begin the holiday season there could not be. I'm standing here in front of McGee Women's Hospital in the Oakland section of Pittsburgh, where just moments ago, Katie, Matt, and big sister Libby welcomed this beautiful baby into the world. Heidi Noel Dobler was born on November 1st, 2011. She weighed in at eight pounds, five ounces, and is really the happiest baby in the world. Neutral and unbiased officials are standing by waiting to certify that this is indeed the cutest baby ever born at McGee. Oh, she's got to be number one. I mean, there's no comparison. Those other kids, they don't have a shot. Best looking, best baby, best everything. Now the indication I'm getting at this hour is that little Heidi is doing great and that her and the rest of her family are really looking forward to their first Christmas together. For DNN, I'm Dobetown. Back to you, Dobet. Thanks, Dobetown. And tell me, how is Libby adjusting to becoming a big sister? Yeah, she's really doing a fabulous job, and all indications are that she's going to really enjoy her new role as big sister. In a related story, Libby turned two years old in June of this year. And now for our health report, we go to Dobetown in Hilton Head Island. I'm telling you, I ate an entire fried fish, an outrageous chimichanga, and an enormous piece of chocolate. What's that? That's right, Dobet. We all know how difficult it is to remain fit while on vacation. We caught up with the Dobler family who shared with us their secrets for remaining active while on vacation in Hilton Head in May of 2011. Whether jogging on the beach early every morning or swimming laps in the pool every afternoon, the Dobler family says their secret is to stay constantly active on vacation. One insider, though, says the Doblers aren't being entirely honest. <sighs> vacation is one long week and one opportunity for Matthew to just sit on his ass and do nothing. I guess the only thing that can be said is agree to disagree. For DNN, this is Dobetown, reporting from Hilton Head Island. Back to you, Dobet. Thanks, Dobetown. Along those lines, Matt and his buddy ran the Pittsburgh Ruckus Race this summer, and Matt, his sister, and little Libby ran the turkey trot at Thanksgiving. Which brings us to DNN Sports. That's right, Dobet. Our sports report is checking in with what we're sure are future Olympians who are training right here on the shores of beautiful Lake Martin in Alabama in August of 2011. Athletes trained in some of the more traditional Olympic pursuits, including aquatic events, equestrian disciplines, and boat racing. Some legends even showed up to show the young kids a thing or two about wakeboarding, fishing, and diving. There were even some new competitive events created in hopes that there'll be sports by the time these kids are ready for the big show, like bubble popping. They'll have to train hard to make the Olympics though, which means they'll probably have to come back here year after year. For DNN, this is Dobetown reporting from Lake Martin. Dobet? Thanks, Dobetown. I'm joined now in the studio with the entire DNN crew to wish you a Merry Christmas. We recognize that we're pretty lucky. If the entire world was as happy as we are, things would be pretty okay. Wishing you and yours nothing but good news in 2012. Can you say Merry Christmas? Merry Christmas! <laughs>